Okay, we have a God that is able to basically do what he needs to do at his time. Amen. We have a God that's able to function at his time. See, we may, we may want it. All right, we may want it at our time. Amen. We may want it at our time, but God got his time. Amen. God got his time. And we got to understand when God has his schedule, he works on his schedule. He works on his time. He don't work on our time. All right. God works on his time. He doesn't work on my time. He works on his time. So we got to understand when, when God does it, it's done. Amen. When God does it, it's done. Amen. And that's where we have to comprehend. That's where we have to run into is when God does it, it's done. See, man got nothing to do with this. Man has nothing to do with this. Look, I got all these files, all these paperwork, all this stuff. But none of this stuff means anything. All right, none of that stuff means anything if God doesn't move. Hear me? Got all these files. Look at this. All these files. All this paperwork. All this stuff. But if God I said, if God, if God don't move, mm -hmm. I feel my help coming. If God doesn't move, it won't be done. Mm -hmm. I was sitting down earlier and I was saying, how is it mm -hmm, that a lie dragged on so long? Mm -hmm. How is it that a man that never met me in my life have the initiative to bamboozle people that dislike me, get money from them to do a court paper on me, hoping I will stumble and fall. But God said what he puts in his hand, glory. What he puts in his hand, glory, no man can take away. A lot of people are looking for my downfall because that's their mentality. That's how they get down. That's, that's what they do. That, that's their conversation. That's their walk. Their walk is a downfall. Their walk is not with Christ, but their walk is with the devil. So what they're looking for is me to fall. So they can rejoice and say, oh, good, we got him. But the saddest thing about it, brothers and sisters, and if the truth be told, I never did anything to y'all. And that's the truth. I never did anything to yours. I, I, I never came into a direction where I deserve the behavior that you gave me. I, I I never did anything for that. You, you know, but in your kangaroo court, in your hatred, in your anger, in all, all the stuff that you have towards me, you see it's necessary. But I want to let you know I have a God. Mm. I got a Jesus mm -hmm. that told me, blessed are you mm -hmm. when they force you to accuse you for my name's sake. Ah. So let me tell you something. If I have, let me see how many people in here. All right. I have 686. <laughs> now, if out of the 886, if they are all against me, the Bible says, blessed are you. Mm -hmm. 
Blessed are you when they falsely accuse you for my name's sake. Mm. So that means it's nine. Mm. That means it's ten. Whatever the number is, whatever the number is, <laughs> whatever the number is, yang, 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 yang. God got it. <laughs> and I'm just holding on. <laughs> See, I want to let you know about the God I serve. See, the God I serve when I wake up in the morning, he rises me up. When I'm hungry, he feeds me. When I'm in need, he comforts me. I want to let you know, brothers and sisters, I shall not shed a tear for anyone that's against me, but I will pray that God will open your mind so you can see that leave me alone before God deals with you. And Lord Jesus, as I come to you again, and I'm praying for a miracle, I'm praying, Lord, that you show your presence. I'm praying, Lord God, you touch the judge. And you throw this out. Long time, Lord God. Every time we go to court, the brother is late. The brother don't have what he's supposed to have. The court gave him a lot of chances. I tell you a lot of chances. I ask you, Lord God, let this be. Let this be the last day, the last time. <laughs> the last time I got to worry about the court. The last time I got to worry about people like him. The last time I'm dealing with this, Lord. I ask you now, Lord God, let them get there on time. Let them not have any excuses. Let Mr. Sherman have no excuses. <laughs> let them come in. Let them drop the verdict. <laughs> Let them be able to say, <laughs> we gave you the chance <laughs> to prove. <laughs> we gave you more than we gave anyone else. <laughs> but you still haven't proved <laughs> that Reverend Gillis, <laughs> Randall Gillis, <laughs> Brother Gillis, <laughs> did anything to you. <laughs> Let them be able to speak. <laughs> You're lucky he didn't <laughs> have a countersuit against you because <laughs> you what a loss. <laughs> Mm. I make a proposition to you. I say, devil, you stay where you are, and I stay where I am. Devil, you, you did a lot of things, and I'm not calling him a devil. I'm calling the devil, devil. Devil, you did a lot of things. You try to knock me from the left, and I move to the right. You hit me from the right, I move to the left. You hit me from the back, so I move from the front. I spin around, and you spin around too. But when I called Jesus, you thought I was down on the count. You thought I was down. You thought I was washed up. But I want to let you know, devil, I was not down for the count. I was praying to Jesus to give me strength. To come up with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> to come up with the Holy Spirit. And I'm back. <laughs> I'm still standing. I'm still preaching. I'm still in my church. I still have my woman. I still have my family. <laughs> I'm still on Beagle. <laughs> I'm still on TikTok. <laughs> I'm still on Facebook. <laughs> I'm still on Instagram. I'm still on WhatsApp. I'm still on in all the social media. Mm. So I want everybody to know, Lord God. Let them know their hands are too short to box to God. Oh, Lord God. Let them know if this message has been a blessing to them. Lord God, and they want to give me a dollar or two. Lord God, let them know it's dollar sign. God, G-O-D. Number one. The, 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 the shape of number one. Not the word number one. And they know the little you, not the word you. 
Lord God, I see my finances dropping. They say people are giving me money, but they're giving it to the wrong people. Lord God, open their minds. Lord God, let it be accountable. Oh, Lord God, I got a new book dropping out. Core, I am a icon. I am Mr. Icon. Oh, yes, I got a new book coming out, Lord God. It should be dropping in three weeks. I am Mr. Icon. I got another book dropping out. For I'm writing children's books next. I'm going to start doing children's books. And it's called I Love Me. And it tells children how to show and reflect themselves, to love themselves before anything else. I'm asking you, Lord God, let me pick the right person that will publish this. They won't take my money, Lord God, because I struggle, Lord God. I got hit for 500, Lord God. Got hit for 400, Lord God. Got hit for 300, Lord God. Got hit for 100, Lord God. I got hooked for 300, Lord God. Money for my credit card, Lord God. And they lied, Lord God, but I thank you for alerts. I thank you for the bank saying, yo, this is an alert. Somebody is doing this. So I just thank you, Lord God. Let this not happen. Pick the right people so we can put these books out. I'm trying to bring reading back, Lord God. So I'm asking you to let me do what I need to do. Remember my dental, Lord God, it needs to be taken care of. Let my insurance pay for my root canal and plus to pay for my implants. Let me have a long life living, Lord God. Healthy, Lord God. Remember my eyesight. Bless me too. I can be able to always see good. Take care of my house. Protect me, Lord God. Let me not worry about things I shouldn't worry about. And just keep me in your path. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, I got to go. Okay, I got to be at court at 9.30. Keep me in prayer. All right? I got to be at court at 9.30. Keep me in prayer. God bless you.